Hey guys, B4 here and today we're at the Madrona Marsh. This is one of our family's favorite places and it has been for a really long time. We always find something really cool here. My finger's like right next to right now. Right there. My finger's like super close to it. Now we're going to check out the nature center.
tomato hornworm space. Oh, bro, look at this locust. Inside face. Gather the western yellow jacket. Man, imagine getting stung by this thing. Where? Oh, mom, we see these Ooh. a lot on our hikes. Four. That is. Lee. Oh, look oh, at the wrong one. Look at the wrong one. Okay. Where's the green one? That's flame skewer. But this one. Oh, that thing's so It says that that's a tobacco hornworm sphinx, Millennium, the 66. Mm. This one that we see on our hikes a lot, number four, is the Red Admiral. And then we've seen one of these three. They're, let's see, five, six, and seven. They're. Once American lady, a painted lady, and a West Coast lady. Pretty cool. How do some marsh plants get oxygen to their roots? Some plants absorb oxygen through their leaves and stems. They then supply the oxygen to their roots through a network of specialized cells. when he found out that I want to be an archaeologist. And he gave me a raptor, a uh, micro raptor, which I think is pretty cool. I like the tail. Hey guys, we just finished exploring the Madrona Marsh. Uh, my favorite part was seeing the very big but freaky grasshopper. I found the bladder pod, which is a plant that's native to California. And I spread some of the seeds. Um, and you can find the seeds by opening one of the 